important than how much fat you eat, however, is the type of fat you eat. You may have heard the word triglyceride. That's just another word for fat molecule. The type of fat molecule is what makes it good or bad for you. Fat molecules filled with hydrogen are saturated. The ones that are not completely filled with hydrogen are unsaturated. Unsaturated is better. Most foods have both kinds of fat, so we generally classify a food on whether it's got more saturated or more unsaturated fat. Unsaturated fat is dominant in plant foods, like avocados, walnuts, and corn. Fish and shellfish also have mostly unsaturated fat. At room temperature, unsaturated fat is liquid, like fish oil or canola oil. Saturated fat is the dominant fat in animal products, like butter, meat, and milk. Saturated fats are known as solid fats because they hold their shape at room temperature. Some cities have banned trans fat from restaurants. Others are taxing foods that have too many saturated fats. Heart attack and stroke are only for older people to worry about, right? Actually, if you're young and eat a diet high in saturated fat, cholesterol is landing in your blood vessels right now. But here's the good news. When you replace saturated fat with unsaturated fat, your bad cholesterol level goes down and you get healthier. So foods with unsaturated fats can actually be good for you. One fat in particular, omega-3, is extremely beneficial. Omega-3 fatty acids are found in seafood, nuts, and seeds, and the oils we get from them. Too much sugar can also lead to type 2 diabetes. Here's how. When sugar, or glucose, enters your bloodstream, the pancreas produces insulin. Insulin acts like a key to open our cells to allow glucose to enter. Without insulin, the glucose just floats in your bloodstream. Eating lots of high sugar foods throughout the day makes our insulin level spike over and over again. Your cells start to ignore the nagging insulin. When your cells start to ignore or resist the insulin, that means they aren't able to use the glucose in your blood to get energy. More than a third of the added sugar we consume comes from soda, sports drinks, and energy drinks. Sugary, fruit-flavored drinks and sweetened teas account for another 14%. A 12-ounce soda contains around 10 teaspoons of sugar, which is more than anyone should consume in an entire day. That's 150 calories and none of the nutrients you need. One can of soda a day could add up to 15 pounds of fat to your body in a year. Is that sugar fix really worth gaining 15 pounds? Put another way, if you could lose 15 pounds in a year by cutting out a daily can of soda, would you?